say hi to YouTube because this is going on YouTube. Guys, if you are watching on YouTube, it's nice to meet you. My name's Kitty. Um, if you enjoy this game, please consider liking and subscribing. Hello, hello. Uh, we're going to be playing Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. We have played the first one. You can also find that on my YouTube too. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's let's get going. Let's -a go. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> This is the opening, but it cancelled. Look how much detail has gone into some of the cutscenes now, guys. Yo. You guys remember the last one was like very black. Well, the art style was different, let's say that. Because I liked the art style. The store is closing soon. Oh, the music. No. Who here was who was here for my playthrough of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk? The first one. Oh look, this is kinda of, this is basically what real the like the world looked like, not through her eyes. Because you know how she sees it all like red. Guys, is it really loud, by the way? Uh, you were here, Richard. No, you weren't X. Oh, you're in for a treat. These games are really good. They actually focus on... It's actually a... Speaking of mental health earlier, it's actually a game that looks at mental health. The girl that we play as sees the world as this kind of, like, red... Um, uh, red... Sort of a bit like this, actually. Like, just sort of shapes and things. It's very cool. Right, okay, guys. This is milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. And I'm very, very excited to play. Uh, just a small sort of warning. The last game dealt with things like mental health issues. Um, there was sort of hints at darker themes like suicide and things like that. So it's just a, a little cheeky warning for everybody. Hey, Spotter, how are you? And hello, Arjan. How's your Wednesday been, guys? I am, um, as I said, I haven't played this one. I have played the first one, so I don't know what the themes are going to be about. So just sort of go into it with a, an air of caution, please. I'm okay, finally. And nice, what have you got? And I'm okay, thank you. We had a little bit of trouble with stream at the beginning. Yeah, I got it working. I did. It just turns out that I needed a cheeky restart, Karina. A good old restart, eh? I'm walking to my room trying not to look around. Playful, shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. Oh my gosh, hello, welcome. Um, can I call you NKT? I hope you're enjoying my game. You have some odd brightness contrast such as I do. It's because uh, we played a game that was very dark previously and I've just noticed that on the OBS. But thank you so much for joining. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the first one. I loved it. Um, I will try and sort out the contrast settings at some point as well so that you guys can see what I can see. The art is incredible, but thank you for dropping by. I do appreciate that. I'll see if I can do that. I didn't want to like alt tab out and then. Yeah, we played a game before. And the. Uh... There you go. That's better. The brightness was the... it was so dark. <laughs> the dev and <in> chat hype. <laughs> um, but as I say, thank you so much for dropping by. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, no, I missed something clicking back in game. 
Aha, that's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers. But they, then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door now. Ooh. Um, is that color setting a little bit better? Uh, it was it was a color adjustment. Can I just check with you guys? Has that improved it? If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, no, no. I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. I like that. That looks cool. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside. There was a bag of milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what exact? Oh, I wasn't expecting the eyes to move. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf, in a store, on the table, or on the table in my mum's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. Oh, Karina, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring the others trouble. I walk towards my room through a narrow corridor. Our oh, mum. I meet a familiar formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. Oh my god, the the soundtrack? Hello? This is awesome. Is it too loud, guys? I can turn it down if it's uncomfortable. For you. I mean, I like it if my ear's quite loud, but I know you... I want it to be comfortable. Is that alright for you guys? Oh, the flashing. It's like tentacles. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye socket. Don't move. Creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging, and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. Oh wow. A white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time, but... If it's like the first game and like things we see aren't necessarily what's like happening, do you think this is like a, a needle? And what's in it, I suppose. I raided the wrong kitty. Hard oh, dark side. Don't worry. How are you, my lovely? Hello. How have you been? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell, while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. 
I send people to Tea Kitty instead of you. Christ, it's okay, don't worry. I know it's confusing. Was that Tea Kitty live? Is the Salad Fingers cousin? For God's sake. Thank you. Darkside, thank you for the host. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're just playing some uh, a game called Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. Um, it's longer, the title, but I'm sh I've shortened it. Um, it's a game that is available on Steam. There's a first one as well, Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. And uh, we played that one for Halloween and I loved it. So I've been really excited to play this one. Yes, you played, uh, you saw on Halloween, right? I believe. How was your stream, by the way? This is a different one. This is the second one that's come out. Um, is the game a bit loud, by the way, Darkside and Finch? I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, mo milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams resound through the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. You did a giveaway. Nice. What was you give? Oh, I saw on Twitter. Amazing. Amazing. That's very kind of you to do that. And it's good and it seems all right. Okay, good. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I tried to imprint where every drop fell in memory so that I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need a new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns to pitch black in an instant. Say it. I'll never drink the milk again, ever again. I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. Holy shit. I wonder if there's going to be like multiple choices and answers and things. <gasps> oh, that looks so good. Oh, I love the art style so much, but it's like combined with the the sort of artwork from the first. It looks so cool. <laughs> say it out loud. I do my references backwards now. It's right. I got it. I got it. I'll say it with a French accent. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Mum told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favourite time of day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. Lovely music. Oh, X, the soundtrack this one and i mean so far this one but the first one as well so good so good x these are available on steam i really 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 recommend them oh my god i recommend them guys if you haven't played them yourself please uh, i really recommend these games i mean i'm already loving this one and there was a time when the, uh oh, sorry i woke up for that moment's sake lived for the day for it my biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams away slowly, but surely slipped away. Mummy Milk. Hi, Pram, how are you? Hello. As if somebody fished them out of my head, one after the other, after another. Sorry. Uh, nothing was left, and now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. I'm well, Prem. How are you today? There's something really satisfying about purple and red combined together, don't you think? After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, I have no idea how they work separately, since I always swallow them a bunch without thinking. Now I want to have a better look at it to twirl between my fingers to chew on it. Has, everyone, has anyone ever chewed a... a, a like medicine before you know how you're supposed to, when you're supposed to swallow it has anyone ever chewed it i did once when i was a kid and i 
had a headache and I was like, I didn't have any water and I didn't know what to do. And I was so desperate, I chewed on it and it was the worst thing I ever did. Charcoal, charcoal pills. Yeah, it's gross. I know, it made me feel sick. The thought of it just, ugh, yucky. Now I want to have a better look at it to try the perfume. I'd do anything to store just for a little bit more time. A smooth protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky semi-transparent film, but I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides. To su my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. Just like this chat, filthy, filthy. Um, how you find in the sequel? So far, fantastic. Sound design is great. I'm loving the art style already. It's kind of combined with a more... I, if you guys remember from the first game, it was very... We, we had to kind of guess what we were looking at sometimes, which I found was really cool. But I like that it's kind of combined with a, you know, this is very clearly like a pill <laughs> bottle. <laughs> but quite surreal as well, do you know what I mean? Like the shape of the bottle and things. He'll fly straight to the waste bin and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was a flat pill of the same blood red colour. There were some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but it's not the type of sleep I want. It's not, that's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. Uh, it's gross. It's really gross, huh? Loads of dry, disgusting powder. Multiple times because I, as a kid, I was not able to take tablets better at it now, but medicine in Nutella tastes like, really? Yeah, I, I mean, Nutella, it's good, but I don't imagine it, it sort of cancels it out. Us filthy. Are you a Labrador? Dogs can't have chocolate. Yeah, I put we put it in peanut butter for my dog. Not as obedient, I'm afraid. No wonder my dog was sick all the time and had to keep giving it medicine. God damn it, Finch. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides and then I find a reason not to swallow it. Hi, Vagabond, how are you? I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healthy healing, healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away. But not to my mum, she'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Maria! Oh my goodness! Hello! Hello! How are you? Come on in, guys. Hello, guys. If you're not already following Maria, please go and follow Maria. She is an awesome streamer who actually plays a lot of indie titles. So you might see her playing this one day. Um, hi, Maria. How was your stream? Guys, if you're coming over from Maria's stream, it's nice to meet you. My name's Kitty. We are playing Milk Outside a Bag of Milk uh, today. And it's a sort of a surreal visual novel. Um, I don't really want to give too much away, but we've played the first one and it was really good. It's got sort of themes of mental health running through it and things like that, so just as a little warning. But it's really cool, so pull up a seat. Um, it is available on Steam if anyone's looking at this and they're like, oh my gosh, this looks really interesting. Hello, Cherry Onion. How are you, G another Jimmy? Hello, guys. Hello, hello. I love the name. The name of these games are like what sort of caught my eye because they're just so... The first one's called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside It's like really long and then this one's Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. This game seems very interesting. I really recommend Maria. I think you'll like it. They're quite short as well and, and uh, sort of compact so you can definitely do it in a stream. Maria did Dirty and sent us to the Scary Stream. Hi real cute, how are you? Now we're on a Scary Stream. I was all cozy and now scared. No, 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 still cozy vibes. Look, I have a, I have a hot water bottle. So it's cozy, don't worry, don't worry, it's still cozy. How's everyone's Wednesday been? I think I've 
Uh, and I'm sure she's already, I'm already sleeping, don't want to disturb about reason, I think of someone to myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. He is fine, Cherry. Yeah, it's fine. We're all cosy, aren't we, guys? We've all got our blankets and hot chocolates. <gasps> We're here. We can talk to them. I thought it was going to be us. Hey. Oh, hey, long time no see. She's so cute. You can't see her? Oh, we can't be having that, guys. No, no, let me move myself down. Because this artwork is beautiful. Uh, let me move the subscriber and cheer her down as well. Let me move myself down so you can see. I'm going to be blocking some of it, I'm sorry, but... You can see that beautiful face. Okay. Looks a lot like Kitty. What, the character? Do you think so? That's cute. We have red eyes. We have the same red eyes. It's always cozy here. <laughs> oh, thank you. And thank you for welcoming in the Raiders, by the way, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, it hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know we're only supposed to meet once per day, right? Um. Why does your voice sound so grim? Naturally, I've read the manual. Judging by the pictures, the overdose side effects are just the usual headaches, dizziness, exhaustion. Basically nothing I can't handle by myself. After all, now I know how to do it. I thought we might have overdosed. More stonk raid. <laughs> Same red eyes. <laughs> I tried to joke about your face being on top. Oh, I see. My No, I get it. Sorry, real cute. Sorry. I get it. I get it. I got your joke. I'm sorry. Thank you for raiding with me. Yeah, no, thanks for coming over, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Am I okay down here? You guys mind me being down here for now? You didn't reply. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit. No, I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now, all right? So, I, there's been a lot of spec... I suppose that we were, in the first one, we were the medication trying to help her buy the milk. So I suppose this kind of confirms it in a way. Maybe? I don't know. I'll just stay silent until the medicines effect wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. And that's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm? So energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. She's kind of like... Uh, being mean to us. Um, what did everybody have for dinner, by the way, guys, today? What was your Wednesday dinners? I had sausages and potatoes today. It was good. I can imagine how angry you are right now. Yeah, I'm all beside myself. What made you so happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple of hours ago. I don't know what you mean. Stop lying, stop lying, stop lying. Uh, which one should we pick? Four cheese and caramelized onion pizza. <gasps> that sounds so good. Oh, I love car caramelized onion. I made Christmas ham and ate it and then some bread. Oh, I love it that it's Christmas time and it's like acceptable to get the Christmas food out, guys, right? I had pizza outside, a box of pizza outside a box of pizza. <laughs> That's, that might be the next game, Maria, I reckon. Uh, chicken and potato tonight, apple crumble for dessert. Nice, and you're watching Hawkeye. Yo, what a combo. Nuh uh, I still don't understand. Whatever. Unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic, snotty girl for a long time. Okay, now we're being mean. We have to say it. She just whines and whines all the time. 
Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, all right? See, I wasn't sure if we were just like our character that she sees as like the intrusive thoughts that you can get, you know? Or maybe we are the medication. I don't, I, I'm really curious to wonder if this will sort of clear things up. You're getting the Xmas food out, Sonic Curry, ew. <laughs> You're the one calling the shots now. Yep. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. Can we talk about her design? She looks so cool, I love her. I, am I really that pathetic? See, it's like, almost like, we you say you're pathetic and it's like an intrusive thought that just tumbles and like gets out and spirals, you know? Uh, I found out the issue with the Twitch stream buffering. Did you sort it? Poison, happy Wednesday, hello, how are you? How has your day been? It just turned out that I had to change the quality to a lower setting. Yeah, I thought that might be it. I'm glad you sorted it though. Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face and then we'll decide what to do with you. I'm in front of a mirror again, staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me. Trying not to drown all their giggling. Drown in all th in their giggling. But then in the mirror, also shows me a creepy smile, bares her teeth at me. Oh, I'm not blocking the text, that's fine. I've had to move my cam around to try to avoid blocking things, guys. I'm watching in 480p, if I go to 720 or 1080, it'll buffer. I think that happens with most people, to be fair. I sh I'm glad it's sorted though, as I say, Arjan. I shut my eyes and that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind, two squared by two squared, Square squared. Square pyramid squared. Pyramidal structure cubed. Pyramidal structure hyper cubed. I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. How do you feel? Sorry for being rude. I'm saying sorry. Today's been a bit busy, but the busiest part is done. Thankfully, I love the art in this game. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is such a beautiful looking game. Same with the other- did you- you saw the other one as well, didn't you, Poison? I like that it's kind of combined with our character now, like, it, you can see the world around her. I think that's really cool. And I'm sorry your day was a bit busy. I'm glad the busy part is done. You can get cozy and relax now. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine. You can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. The color palette is really cool. I actually missed the first one for whatever reason. Oh no, that's fine, that's fine. I was just wondering if you had seen the, the first sort of style of art. Um, yeah, purple and red. I love it. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. There's just something really cool about it. Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Undoubtedly. Whatever it was, it was your decision. What are thoughts so far, guys, by the way, on this game? Give me thoughts. Give me feelings. Give me, give me vibes. I wonder if you can upset her to the point where the game ends again. Does it even matter? And what do you think? Can't be sure about anything and you don't take me seriously anyway. Why did you do that? Felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true, the pain subsided for a bit at that time. But now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. Just drink your medicine already or I'll stop talking to you. You know what to do. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine and I swallow the pills one after another, facing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. 
uh, and yet my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood, there we go, we got there in the end, in the transparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. Uh, I hope the TL quality isn't too terrible, otherwise I'd be quite embarrassed. Uh, sorry, what does TL stand for? Sorry, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a noob. Hey, AD, welcome. <laughs> Hi. I shake my head violently. Oh, translation? Oh, I see. I, did you translate the game? No, no, translation's fine. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just silly. <laughs> Hi, AD. Hi. Uh, no, the translation's been great. Uh, good job. Absolutely good job. Did you do the translation for just the English version or...? Uh, other versions too. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so re repulsive. You translated it from Russian to English? Amazing. I mean, that's so cool that you're able to do, to, you know, speak two languages. I'm very jealous. <laughs> that's really cool and welcome. Yeah, welcome, welcome. The dev dropped by earlier and said that they hope I enjoy the game and I love it. I can get lost in these games. They're so cool. And uh, your translation is helping with that. So thank you so much, AD. Thank you for doing that. And bringing it to my language as well so that I can enjoy it. Very kind. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you so much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. It's super badass, super badass, I know. I know, I, I love, I, I, there's so many questions I want to ask, but obviously, like, I don't want to ruin anything for myself, you know? <laughs> You're welcome, I can't help but watch every stream in English for the last couple of days. I don't blame you, I've been so excited to play this game. Um, I had it on my Steam wishlist for, like, months, because, a couple of months, because I played uh, Milk Inside a Bag of of milk in October and I had this on my wish list since then and I've been like checking on it to like see when it comes out because I've been desperate to play this so genuinely thank you so much. I lie on the floor and I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather it's rearing its claws from somewhere below waiting for me to lose focus. Props to you and your team, it's really cool to see the community interaction. Oh yeah, that's really true, like, it's nice to sort of speak, that's what I mean, like, you have so many questions for, like, people that are responsible for the games that are so awesome. Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. Listen to that soundtrack. Like, it's just, it's drones and stuff, but like, I love drones and that sort of sounds. It's so cozy. What do you want then? I just want to lie down for a bit. I can't do anything, like I'm clicking and even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. She asked to just lie down. But then it's a helpful thought to say, worst case scenario happens, it's unlikely to happen. Yeah, can you stay silent please? I need to get my thoughts in order. Yes. I will be silent. Hi, this is my first time I'm seeing this game interesting so far. Welcome, uh, is that one Zed? Welcome, can I call you Zed? Is that okay? Um, I really recommend, dude, if you're even just a little bit curious about it, um, it's on Steam. The This is the sequel to the first one, and I recommend them both. And I haven't even finished this one, and I'm already recommending it because I'm just gripped already. But welcome on in, it's nice to meet you. I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head, lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now, 
It's my cork board. Is my character breathing? I thought I just saw her chest rise and fall. Maybe I imagined it. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around, and in the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Oh, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. I'm sorry, my hair's a bit of a mess today, guys. I do apologize. I keep getting glimpses of it in the webcam, my bad. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts. The fireflies now start whirling all over the ceiling in their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. Enough. I hate you. Oh. Yes, said. I'm always excited to see a new game. Good to meet you. I came in with a raid recently and followed. Oh, was you in Maria's raid? Uh, th oh, was it previously? Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Did you follow today? Did an alert not work? I'm sorry. But uh, welcome, welcome. Or is that just your first time chatting, maybe? Hair is fine, kitty. Nonsense. Your hair's not a mess at all. Oh, thank you, guys. I just keep getting glimpses of it. It's just a bit... I don't know. It, it doesn't look messy in real life, but on webcam it... Okay, I'm going to listen to you guys. It doesn't look messy. I'm talking nonsense. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. I'll start over. No way. Unstable behaviour makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. That doesn't bother you. That. Oh, look at her face. There's so much like. Russian. Ugh. <laughs> tisk tisk. Sorry, poison. Sorry. Kitty, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Piffa? Hello. How's your Wednesday been? That. No. A lot of people act like this. Really? There's something shameful. There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone. You have reason for that. Did you have. You did have reason, didn't you? I'm nearly choking. I'm not a fish. My goodness, I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm gonna cough right into the mic. I had to be quick. I suggest you save your game here, so you don't need to replay the opening scenes for more endings. That's very helpful. Thank you, AD. <laughs> Thank you. Do you get multiple saves or is it just the one slot? Uh, I followed in the past. This is the first time I had a chance to come back. I can't recall when it was exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. It's very nice to meet you properly. Uh, what sort of games are you into, Zed? Are you alright? I'm okay. <clears throat> I just nearly choked to death on literal water. What we made of, like 70% water and we could still choke on it, guys. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um... But yeah, you can save by pressing escape. Thank you. I, thank you for letting me know that. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> NKT, thank you so much for uh, watching. I do appreciate it, by the way. I'm really enjoying the game so far. You also get to see the best save menu in the history of gaming. Okay. You just get one save. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm sorry for uh, the interruption there, guys. My apologies. <clears throat> <coughs> I'm still coughing a little bit. You'll surely get better, believe me. And now, start over. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. 
and I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. <laughs> I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Has anyone ever seen a firefly? I've never seen them. Oh, sorry, someone said something about Mario Kart. Someone said something about Mario Kart. Uh, I'm good, I finished all this 50cc. Nice, did you get three stars in all of them? I needed to get three stars in all cups. Nice, nice. <coughs> Fuck's sake, I didn't realise by finish you meant get a perfect score. <laughs> Nonsense, take a minute if you need it. Mute, mute and hack away. That's pretty much what I was doing, Poison. I think I made my eyes water a little bit. Tempted to sabotage Pippa by not letting her borrow the switch from Mario Kart. Yes, sabotage. I really want to switch so I can play Mario Kart with everyone. Prem, do it. The power will go to her head. It will. But that's the easiest cup, so now I to complete in 100cc. I've seen some, but I bet they're different kinds of fireflies. Yeah, I've never got to see them. Was it... was they cool? I need to find them. Forget about them and go to bed. I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here can't be anywhere. Suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. I have no idea weird. Instead of asking silly questions, help me find my fireflies. To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. <clears throat> me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. If I make even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their place and that's it. Bye. Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. That was cute. That was so cute. I play games on Switch, mainly Animal Crossing. I paint oil on canvas. I follow more to see if I can catch an art stream, but gaming is interesting as well. Nice. I um, I don't usually stream a lot of art. I do do a lot, a few Switch streams though, so maybe that was where where you popped in. I think they generally tend to hang around in warm places, never seen one. Oh, but I bet they're so cool, huh? Like, it must be amazing to see them. You're probably right about the warm places. They weren't as bright in games and movies. Oh. I bet it's still kind of cool, though. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. Alright, then. So we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. My, oh my. I have an idea. Last time becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. Oh, you know, those games that have moments when you just look for different objects and something inevitably happens. Pixel clicking. It sounds so fun. Um, what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? Oh wow. It would make it even more interesting. So childish. And I wanna know wanna know the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? Such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? Do what you want. Do you know what's really cool is actually we're doing the decision making. Like we're the one having to make the decision. But are we part of her? I don't know. I saw your Instagram a while back and noticed some interest in digital art posted. Oh, I, d I am a digital artist. Yes, that's right. I um, I do commission work for like emotes and stuff, but I rarely stream it. Maybe I should do more art streams. I don't know. Is that something you guys would be interested in? 
Uh, come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden asking for help is a reasonable decision too. <laughs> yes, 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 art stream, please. <laughs> Thank you, Pram, for posting the link. I appreciate that. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I was a tiny firefly? Oh, this is so thrilling. I always wanted an art stream. I have done them in the past, a very long time ago. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowie. Oh, wowie. Sorry, I'm half lurking as I wrap presents. You don't have to apologize. Not at all. I want to see the Aurora Borealis. You can see them in specific places where I'm at. Not sure what brought me into type in that. Light things in nature? Lighty things in nature? I mean, that would be incredible to see, I think. And if you have the opportunity to see it. Is it quite far? Do you have to travel, like... Or is it really close? You're talented. I just assumed you streamed art. Thank you, Zed. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you. I'm predominantly a traditional artist, like pen on, uh, pencil, paper, but... I've moved to digital to sort of try and get my commission business up and running. Her glowing red outline is such a nice touch. I know. It's so pretty. And I like as well, like here, like it's purple. It's such a nice looking game. Not too far. A little trot. I mean, that could be what you do when you have uh, your holiday that you're thinking about doing. That could be a good enough reason though. Time to get my booster. Re have fun. Drive safe. Yes. Oh my god, please be safe on the moped. Fucking death machines. There are 89 backgrounds overall, and they get picked at random for all the seeds. Really? So this could be something else. That's so cool. Depending on your choices and stuff. I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up in circles around my head for a bit and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. It tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. No, just at random. At least I think so. That's so cool. Oh yeah, it's the point and click. What's funny about that? I imagine myself being a firefly that's looking straight at a giant fan. And I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is a cage. It's locked in. And the cable. It's like an inmate, if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. I never attempted digital art. I've been asked to make emotes for streamers, but I've only painted with oil since I was young. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's definitely hard to get into digital art for sure. I'm still learning. I'm still not like very good at it in my opinion, but you guys seem to like it. So that's what matters. Ah, those. Those are the photos of my best memories. But they're empty. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes, but they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks. Forget it. Are we continuing the search or what? <laughs> she keeps interrupting. I look up towards a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We'd better look somewhere else. Ah, bad thoughts. Why would cockroaches be there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but they became fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't just disappear like that. So they occupied this place. You understand now? Yes, I do. The bad thoughts are still there, guys. They don't just go away. She lies. <laughs> now, I, 
I mean, it's, it's okay, but I, I do see things like that I could definitely improve on. And if I wasn't working my other jobs, I would definitely love to, you know, improve it and stuff. But the fact that you guys like my art means a lot. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Your art is amazing. Thank you. I had to pause the race to tell you to stop being modest. <laughs> Take the switch off her, please. <laughs> um... Do you know, guys, today, I realised how many games we've actually finished in 2021. How many new games we've played and stuff, and how many horror games. I'll go through it at the end of stream. And I'm also, at the end of stream, going to talk about my thoughts on the new Resident Evil movie. So, uh, if you don't want spoilers, be aware. Hi, Bob. How are you? Milk comes in bags. Educate me. It certainly does. Bags of milk. I've seen them with my own eyes. When I used to work in a supermarket. How's your Wednesday been, Bob? I looked down, my school bag worn down and silly, as almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Contents are also re regurgitating, de decomposing, and s turning into a sticky, mushy substance. What a cool image. I need to remember this. Totally not cool. Senseless and cruel. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special, just mostly all sorts of books, books. But I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there and I'm not interested in anything else. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understand my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom, or you're wrong? All right, all right. What did you like the most there? Um... Well, the rooms were really bright, not like at home. That's it. Don't rush me, let me remember. The beds were all so soft and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes the others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah. You remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mum greeted us there. We had dinner and went to our rooms. What happened then? I guess that day has absolutely no special meaning for you. I don't remember. Does it even matter? I want to know. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. I, d I don't want to hurt her feelings by remembering, but I, I really want to know. We'll appreciate your humility and motivation to get better. I... <laughs> Thank you, Poison. I appreciate that. I, I really want to get better. I want to continue to improve for you guys. And, you know, it it's been fun, actually, like, really you know, getting to work on my commissions. I've just been very busy with work recently. And good old Rasky has been so patient, bless him. Very understanding boy. Very understanding bean. I went to art school where I got replaced some courses with art courses instead. I'm pretty good, but the environment made me feel like I couldn't draw for shit. Yeah, I'm all self-taught, so like I wouldn't be able to go to like art school and stuff. I start games and never complete them. Do you know the exact numbers of games kitty? I think most people do that said to be fair. Do you wanna know the number? I wrote them all down today because I think it would be cool to... So Prem, if you're still there, you've inspired me to want to do my own tier list of the games that I've completed this year. Um, haunt, Okay, so we did Haunting Ground this year. Clocked, I mean, Haunting Ground is like feels like ages ago. Clock Tower 3, Silent Hill 4, The Cat Lady, Lorelei, Downfall, We Were Here, Tormented Souls, Fatal Frame, um, Milk Inside a Bag of Milk, we were here too, Mad Father, Alyssa, and we're going to finish Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. So what did I say there? Two, three. I forgot to count on my hand. I was just showing you guys one, two, three, five, six, seven. Ah, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I keep mixing it up. Wait, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, but fourteen games. So we did well this year, guys. I'm proud of all of you. Pats on the head for all of you. What's your favorite one? 
well, would you like me to do a tier list? Do you think you guys would enjoy that? That's so weird to me. I've only ever seen milk in cardboard cartons or glass jars. Yeah, we have them in bottles, but we also used to do it in bags here. It's strange. Google it. I have 30 plus games on Switch and haven't spent much time on any of them. I think most people are like that, right? For playing and for streaming. Yes, I was going to suggest doing a tier stream. Well, Prem, you inspired me, so thank you. That's unreal. Thank you. It's because of you guys, though, inspiring me to stream and, you know, want to play games that I've always wanted to play and stuff and allowing me to, like, play games like this as well, you know, like these sort of unusual games. The fact that you guys still watch me play these are, like, you know, really nice because it feels like I can show you games that I I watch stuff on and then I'm like, oh, guys, I want to share this with you, you know? Thank you, Kitty. We're proud of you, too. <laughs> Thank you. Milk is also sold in plastic bags here in Russia. It's just a cheaper form of packaging compared to cardboard, so it costs a bit less. I did wonder if... So I'm assuming that the dev is from Russia, right? If if the game is originally in Russia. And I was going to ask, but I don't want to ask too many questions, uh, if milk is sold in bags there. Okay. Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? Please. Fine. That day dad picked me up from school earlier explaining to me that I need to grow up. I just remembered what happened to her dad in the first one. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mum greeted us there, we had dinner together and went our separate to our separate rooms satisfied. I'm going to get a bad end. You can ask all the questions, I'll answer what I can. Okay, thank you, AD. I just didn't want to be annoying. Okay, I put the switch down. Tier list, yo, we've got an incoming YouTuber content. <laughs> I know, I feel a bit cheeky doing a tier list, but I thought it'd be cool to like go over the games that I played over the years and which one I liked. Like, you know, and why. It'd be cool to go over why. Dad dragged me out of the school building while I was scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. That scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done. Then he pushed me into the car. We drove home in complete silence. Mum greeted us there. We had dinner together. We went to our separate rooms. Why is she highlighting separate rooms? I don't like it. Please let's not discuss this further. Fuck. I bought milk on our way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Mum was not home. Again. I hate mum so much. What happened next? Suddenly I feel someone's eyes on my back, knowing what these moments should never ever be ignored. I turn around. There's nothing there. What happened next? I got an achievement called You're Annoying. <laughs> Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened. I look at my bag again, light pouring into the room through the window, glints the metal parts, and there was also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real. Lovely. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a feat of sudden anger, but I managed to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. Has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? I spent months memorizing the locations of every item in my room, that's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. Oh! That's why the outside looks like that, because she spent months memorizing what the items should look like in her house. So when she goes outside, it looks like that sort of surreal thing but the reason her house has these kind of objects of things that we can make out is because she's oh that's so cool oh my god look at your feet i look down and see the small insect is crawling towards me from my bag and that's what she means by going blind oh it's barely glowing and i can't even fly i guess this firefly is really tired i bend down to pick it up firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as i touch it and then flies up there you go boy good job after doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. That's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while and then it goes silent. This one is kind of sad. 
Um, I made Pippa a lovely dinner and instead she's eating my Switch battery. <gasps> Is she not eating her dinner? So is her mum a doll? Uh, I don't think her mum's a doll. No. I love it. You definitely have enough entries for something like that. Will you do it this year or just a big old day? All inclusive list. Uh, probably this year. Like a kind of... Because you remember I was saying this is probably going to be the last game I play of the year and then it's going to be kind of like uh, community games and more sort of stuff like that. I think it would be cool to do like a New Year's like sort of a reflection on the previous year, you know, sort of between Christmas and New Year's. I was thinking about it today. I was just sort of sitting around thinking that could be kind of cool to do if you guys were interested. So that was why I was asking today. What a touch. Beautiful. Oh, this game's so cool, Poison. Oh my gosh. What did you make? She is now. Halloumi salad. I had to finish my race kitty. I had to. Pippa, how fucking dare you not eat Charlie's wondrous food? I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is there's no... I'm... Sorry. What matters is that it's no longer alone. So sure, let's continue searching. By the way, um, AD, your translation is fantastic. I'm just not very good at reading sometimes. So if I mix up words and stuff, it's because of my lack of reading ability. Just to clarify, I want that sweater too. I know it's so cool. It looks so cozy. It's not easy to get out of here. Oh, because I did the vent. So if I. The radio, I can still click again. Is there anything? The book. This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it'll still be good for a couple of years. You draw that rarely. Why? Isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. I can't get to the stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of a nightmare that can turn into? Maybe you can ask your mum to buy you one. Buy what? Ask who? Can you even form a coherent sentence? Don't play dumb. Ask your mum to buy you a notebook instead. Instead? So you want me to perform a string of actions, but you're also telling me to do one instead of another. And how would I decide which action to take? You're so dyslexic. Man, you're a tough case. You lack empathy. Is that my fault? I get closer to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate, and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting... Algory? Oh, Algory. Oh, let's not go there, okay. I stand up and study the sketchbook from inches away. Pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page the way it should be. Too bad. I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilly wind breaks into the, wind, uh, the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no. I shut my eyes. The distinctive sound of pages turning echoes with a headache in my head. I know what's ha going to happen. The rustling has stopped even though the wind is still howling from every direction. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look if I wait a little longer. I wait. Now I know there's still stuff to fix, a number of typos, a couple of places with awkward wording. I'm still looking at for all of that stuff. Oh, I see. As I say though, it's been fantastic so far. Technically, the streams I watch are also a chance to make the translation better because of the way we read it. But don't take my word for it. I, I'm not very good at reading. <laughs> I make mistakes all the time. I love that she's made it into a point and click game. Yeah, it's really cool. Like, um, the first one, she made it into a visual novel to help her get over her anxiety about going out to get milk. And now it's a point and click. It's really cool. This fucking game is so cool. No. It's okay, just do it. No way, I know you're lying. Calm down. No. 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 Fine. I open my eyes with the utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings. Nothing. The pages are still pure white. I imagine it. I don't know, did you? You're the smart one here, you tell me. 
I'm sad. A good death. <laughs> no Prem. I'm not. Harley can't cook, you know this. Holy shit, Pepper. How dare you? Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you... I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it, I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder, the pages lift up, and I can almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. Hi, Sinner, how are you today? Hello? How'd your Wednesday been? Doubt and calm down would make me more tense. I think that's the point, in it. No way everything is in the past should stay in the everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me that's it, I'm closing that's it, I'm closing my eyes. Look, look there. A barely visible light seeps through the pages with every new gust it becomes brighter and brighter. It's a firefly! <laughs> we had the realization at the same at the same time. <laughs> the wind immediately stops for a moment. The world sinks into a perfect silence, but for only a moment. Thank you. The buzz sinner, thank you so much for the host, thank you. The buzz has always been haunting me, fills the surroundings, but it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy, you made me so scared. Guys, I didn't knock my game or anything, did I? That audio still sounds nice, right? Oh, blimey, I played the original, by the way, Kitty. Horrific. Yes, you did, didn't you? Well, Sinner, uh, the sequel is now out on Steam, and I really recommend it. I'm really enjoying it, so get your hands on it. Um, it was like six quid, guys, and these and the the uh, the dev and the translator are like in the stream, and they are very, very, very passionate about this game. You can tell. Um, seriously, six quid support support indie developers. My gosh, goodness gracious, little boy, you made me so scared. The firefly blinks, flies up, and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. It spends some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then its buzzing dies down. Thank you. Are you okay? We're running short on time, let's continue searching. Okay, so we've done. We didn't do this. Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it, why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. Well, only if they're purpose, they want to lower their self-esteem. Mm. Huh. This is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. <gasps> oh my god, I had a spider in my bed once. Guys, I had a spider in my bed once, and uh, luckily my cat was there. Ate it for me. They'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favourite items, close their eyes, and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently slapped my cheeks to return myself to the sense my senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log at this time, but right now I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside. Nah, my thoughts don't have a feature of putting to sleep. Uh, quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia, just like tonight. Okay. I think that's pretty, like, I don't think we need to... Oh! Nani? Nani got it! Alright, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I think that's pretty, we don't really need to delve into more of that. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of coolness. No wonder. It's the only thing that defends me against the thunder clouds that gather under my ceiling such a blessing that it can do that it can do it without my help still a firefly won't hide in a place like that it will catch a cold and be unable to fly all right let's continue searching uh oh i doubt it all of the compartments are locked i wish i had a cat to do that i have to eat the spiders in my house myself the thing is, is I'm trying to train myself not to be so scared of spiders, so like, I try and sort of get used to them, but I can't handle it in my bed. Like, what the fuck are you doing, sir? I did not invite you in my bed. Get out. I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Oh, sp not you. Don't worry, my cat didn't eat you. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years. It's so covered with a so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's long. A long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. Hmm. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure. I've spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun to do, stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Do you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. Right. So you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living, okay? Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives. Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. On one wonderful day, someone digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. The cages are identical to yours. And the other hamsters look identical to you too. That means you're all the same. Apart from the fact that they were born at the shop. You'll ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, let's start over. <laughs> this time try and avoid hamster analogies. Guys, I'm glad I brought my water with me. There's, there's lots of reading. You know I'm not at fault here. So, I had a lot of friends online, tens, hundreds of them, impossible to count. It is impossible though had exactly three oh it is it impossible though i had exactly 317 of them although i guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop hey don't get distracted oh right from my 317 friends 68 were into gaming just like me 130 of them like drawing just like me the remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. When I say equally, I don't mean 59 of and a half friends on each side. All right, you can split numbers evenly, no problem. But math doesn't work like that when you when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? Get to the point. I know, of course, that no real people exist on the web. No one's real on the internet, guys. Do you guys think I'm real? Think I'm real? I also understood that all of my friends die the moment I turn off my laptop. But I still wasn't even a bit worried. Wait, I'm not real? Mm -mm. No one's real on the internet. Hot lady? Oh yeah, of course. I think I want to say it was 49. Hot lady 49. I could be wrong, poison. I hope you're real. I don't know if I'm real, guys. You're not real? Or who else have I been to the pub with? But, but, but your butt. <laughs> well, I suppose it's like the online persona, right? Like, everybody has one. And it's technically not real. When you log off, that version of you is dead, in a way. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? It's just a combination of numbers, which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Really? You can lie and make it as fake as you want. Exactly. And there's like aspects of you in your online persona, but most of the time, I mean, like I, I, there was a little thing I did at uni about this concept of like social media pages are a construction of your perfect self so you put forward all of your best moments so that 
and and people don't see like behind the scenes and maybe your lows i'm 100 percent accurate to how i am in real life do you think so flying prem oh yeah tk it's lovely but tk is so lovely but in real life kitty is a twat and i hate her same my perfect self is a fucking twat then <laughs> The thing is, is it's kind of like the idea of, you know how when I'm hanging out with you guys, right? And it's like the idea of like, if we were, we when we're here, we feel comfortable because this is what we've gotten used to, right? But if we were in a room together or like at a pub, would it feel like a little bit, would it feel the same or would it be different? Because actually in real life, you are slightly different, you know? Don't know, it's something to think about, isn't it? It's quite interesting. Hi Lightning, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Just playing this fantastic visual novel. I'm having a lot of fun. Was that Disney themed? Was what Disney themed, sorry. Oh, no. I don't think so. I can't remember what it was for. Actually, yes I do. It was... I can't remember what the course was called at the top of my head, but I do remember what it was. Uh, I'm an idiot online and in real life, but apart from that, to be honest, I'm not that similar. But your information is still amazing in real life too. Well, it's not about that you're not amazing in real life, but you're just, I think there are differences. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just curious what you guys think. Do you know what I mean? Well, you won't like me as I've never been on a roller coaster. I mean, that's random. That's a random reason to assume that I won't like you, Lightning, actually. That's a really random reason. <laughs> Your uni piece. Was there one with mirrors or frames? I know what you're thinking of, but it wasn't that one. I'm an angel here and in real life. Welcome back. Dim? Why do you call them your friends? I mean, everyone who shares my interests is my friend, and I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyway, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose, its mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. You don't need to follow me around, just listen. <laughs> I sit on the floor and the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected in it is my dim face. Dim face! Oh, dim! A web person is just a random picture and a random string of letters. Words and actions from the web person are just an execute, just ex, oh my god, executable, sorry, code. <gasps> hey, let me know if you need a break. One day someone appeared from the point on my laptop it was always on. Oh. There are no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some moments, I let him trick me. Oh. Hey, look. Huh? Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out of the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, blinking at the wa all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself, if only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. The firefly stops glowing for a moment after that, and it starts glowing again as if coming back to its senses. Sometimes it thinks about the further course of action and then flies up and dashes into my ear. So do you think the fireflies are like... What did they say? They were like memories, right? Where did I get up to? There are differences, yeah. Slight differences. Like, I would say that I'm very similar in real life as I am to Kitty, but obviously it's sort of heightened online, I suppose. I, and there are aspects of my life that I keep, you know, behind the scenes, as we all do, you know? You're also a very fussy eater. <laughs> I see. All tipped up and ready to be... Oh, welcome back. Do you like mayonnaise? You can be very talkative online, but at the same time cherish your personal space in real life. When it comes to physical intimacy, it makes perfect sense, but may look like a character discrepancy to other people. I agree, AD, 100%. I think... I think I can be quite, ext like, extroverted on 
online, but then I think in real life I can be quite shy. Until I get to know you and then I'm really not, so... But people might meet me in real life and be like, oh, you're not really like Kitty in real life, you know? K Kitty, I don't, Kitty, I don't know why I said it like that. Dim face. Am I the only one who thinks Kitty looks very, oh, for fuck's sake. Here we go. No, you're not the only person who thinks I look like Amy from the Big Bang Theory. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Lightning Hawk. Thank you so much for coming in and just bringing that up. I appreciate that. I must just look like shit today, apparently. So thanks, Lightning. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Cool. Only mix of egg rolls and sandwiches. Fireflies, fireflies being points of happiness. I thought they might be, but egg mayo sandwiches is high, high tier, low effort food. I'm lonely as fuck, so I take any interactions I can get these days. For some time, it thinks about further course of actions and then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. And what about your story? Thank you. You look great, Kitty. Thank you, Korean. I appreciate that. I've, my heart's beating really fast because I'm really angry and I'm just trying to chill. So I'm sorry, guys, but thank you so much for the 200 bits. Thank you. You must be mad at me for interrupting you, I'm sorry. If you do everything right, I'll finish my story, maybe. And if you forget, then remind me with a code word, for example. What code word? I'll think of one later. And for now, let's keep searching for my fireflies. Oh, you can just finish searching. I mean, I kind of want to know what that is, but it doesn't let you click it. You like it? Oh, AD. <laughs> Karina, thank you so much for gifting a sub to AD. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. Now put an add on as long as you like. <laughs> All right. If I, uh, I'll let the cooldown work and then we'll put a three minute add on. <laughs> thank you, Karina. You didn't need to do that. Thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Uh, AD, enjoy your ad previewing and, uh, and emotes. Karina the God. The thing is, right, is I'm not going to let it make me cry or anything like that anymore when people say it. I've just got to accept that I look like her, guys. Just got to accept it. I I look like her. I look like her. Let's just accept it. I don't want a stretch break dim. I don't need a stretch break. I thank you for redeeming it, though. I will. Back again. Want our kitty emotes back. <laughs> thank you so much thank you for uh, resubscribing i'm all over the place now i know how you feel just try ignoring those people nkt i appreciate that thank you thank you um for your support and thank you for making such a fantastic game by the way and thank you for watching and i i feel embarrassed because i want to play this and i don't want to i'm not usually like this i'm really not i'm usually a very calm chill person and i'm very nice and i'm not like that at all and I just don't want you to think that I am, because I'm really not. I just, uh, I've just been going through a tough time over the last year, and it's just hard to hear comments like that at the moment. I think we need some more mods in here, actually, just to stop comments like that from now on. Uh, but thank you. Oh my god, the cat appears in front of your, right on your face. It did. <laughs> Is this the sixth sub I get gifted to me on a milk stream this week, I think? Wow, amazing. I'll keep redeeming them. Insane stuff. I can do this all day. I'll sub again just for that. You look lovely and you're wonderful. I understood that reference. I mean, we all have our buttons. We do have buttons. I have i don't want to go into it too much. I've had a tough year. And um, I just, I, don't, I can't handle comments about the way I look at the moment. Um... they just kind of hit different and rather than cry I'm getting angry recently so. and I apologize to anyone who's lurking or the devs because I'm really not like that actually 
and I apologize. Right, insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf and I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard and death. You know those plants are long dead, right? Not sure a dead plant would be able to attract any insects. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know? You're still right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? Um... I don't want to search everything. I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging out under the ceiling at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, it's not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally, and I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit. Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even the thousandth percent, and that's how much I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh no, you don't. Then act normal. Your usual notebook pages glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects. Yeah. I thought you know them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mum. I don't need your advice. My screams make the pages rustle relentlessly after a moment. A firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. Hey, let's continue searching. I look at the mound of p pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. Wrong. I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless I could have died. You'll ultimately die anyway, so why worry? Hey, calm down. You've already fixed that. You ordered me to. Uh, did you click on the pills? I've just clicked on them. Is this the, the interaction? Is that an accusation? Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I heave a deep sigh, come closer and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns, pills rain down from it and along with them. A firefly, hooray. After circling above my head a couple of times, it finally lands in my palm. The firefly rushes up my arm and upon reaching my shoulder, it crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a little bit clearer. I get close to the waste bin and look inside it with curiosity. Those packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage boring. There's nothing here indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you here. Right. I turn my eyes towards the inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it and a small towel is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. Okay, let's look somewhere else. We searched everything. Except this. Whatever that is. You found all the fireflies amazing, I guess. That should be all, yeah, maybe. I've managed to gather my thoughts, but sometimes it still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? 
If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all. A zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Go to the balcony and breathe in some air. Somehow those words triggered a panic attack in me. I s oh shit, sorry. I subconsciously something. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. Alright, let's stay here. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What's wrong with this silly question? I'm gonna sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous. Like milk outside a bag of milk. And yet. You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill. Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. The day after tomorrow. And never ever. That's a goodbye then. No. I have one more small favour to ask. A really, really small one. What is it? I blurted it out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. Point and click games just randomly smashed the screen a lot of the time. <laughs> How else are you supposed to play them? Apparently there's thinking involved. <laughs> wow, you got the not default ending on the first run, that's kind of impressive. Oh really, AD? <laughs> that's cool. I'm excited to see the ending. <laughs> it's bags of milk all the way down. We're all trapped in the milk. I refuse to believe you meant to think and try every, inconceiv every conceivable option. I don't play many point and clicks. So, no, I wouldn't be able to sleep like this. Fine, what's the favour? I, um, I nervously scratch my wrist and bite on my lower lip. Wait a minute, you're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared of when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Fully. No, you. He's asleep. I crawl into the sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets. And even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm, I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know it was a joke. Well anyway, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, and lie down. I'm just scared to look at the chat now. <laughs> uh, I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and I always look sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird. Seeing things. Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared the most unexpected places, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know. Then one day I almost died, I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while, and then silhouettes letters in my eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. Well deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught in the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouette's letters and eyes stayed there. I guess they liked this place. They always follow my wake, in my wake, peeping at me, and I'm kind of scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today? Today. Well... I still too scared to tell me.
The titles of these games hurt my brain. I think I say it wrong by accident. Are you gonna do negative answers run like you did with the first one? I don't know, I'm actually curious to know how you get different endings in this one, because it doesn't seem as clear cut. Did anyone else have a sleeping bag that zips all around your head like a proper cocoon? Um, we had a sleeping bag that did wrap all the way up, but I never did it because I have claustrophobia, so it felt horrible. <laughs> she stands out from the pack. Character so cozy though, like a little worm. She is cozy. I thought that when she got in her sleeping bag, very cozy. That sounds horrible. No one else wanted more followers from the three asterisks then. Sleeping bags are more comfortable than duvets, fight me. I don't like camping, so I disagree. Use your hands. All right. Start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? And I was trying so hard here. Do you, don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relaxing. Relax, nobody can hear you. So what do you want to say? What do you say? That's on my bed, sorry. I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly, but it's not. I'm meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close your eyes. Oh, another terrible morning. Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school would think. Well, it's not that I care too much, I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up, there's nothing wrong with looking different. It's not what defines you, after all. Hey, hurry up. I jumped around like a sleeping bag caterpillar. <laughs> duvet burrito, though. Delicious. What about a duvet and a sleeping bag? I feel attacked by bags under the eyes. More colours. We have colours. Yes, Mum. Uh oh. Hey look, it's me. Oh, another terrible morning. Oh, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school would think. Well, it's not that I care too much, I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Clear up, there's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you, after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, Mum. Ugh, another terrible morning. Ooh, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school would think. Well, it's not that I care too much, I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up, there's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you, after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, ma'am. You know, I never spoke about this last time on stream, but um, I was just about to say, the fear of holes, O, the letter O, I, I was thinking about it after the first game and it was never really sort of spoke about unless I missed it why she's scared of the, the letter O and I wondered if I was thinking about it so much because I, I was just like oh what could it mean what could she why would you be scared of the letter O and I thought of it almost as like a loop right scared of the loop the cycle the endless cycle of mental health where you're just going through it over and over and over again and um i've spoken about having ocd before and someone who gets stuck in those cycles and loops the o's i suppose and i just wonder if it's something to do with that and this ending i'm assuming this is the ending is, is kind of like a loop you know she's stuck in a loop she can't escape it that's not how necks work. This is uncomfortable. I want a neck like that. I recommend a doctor if you have a hole in your face. <laughs> Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school would think. Well, it's not that I care too much. I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up, there's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, mum.
Oh, another terrible morning. Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school would think. Well, it's not that I care too much. I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up, there's nothing wrong with looking different. That's a cool interpretation. I probably am overthinking it, but I sat down and I did like this whole like brainstorm after the first game about all the stuff that I had thoughts on it because I was going to do like a, a retrospective video on it. Oh man, my girlfriend also has OCD. It can be quite debilitating sometimes. Yeah. Oh yeah, it really can. I had, I mean, you always have OCD, but like, uh, I get flare ups every now and then and stuff like that. It's really debilitating AD and it's kind of like that loop cycle. And I wondered if that sort of, I could be overthinking it AD, but I thought it could relate to that because it sort of made me think of it when I played it. Hey, hurry up. Yes, mom. Oh, another terrible morning. Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school would think. Well, it's not that I care too much. I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up. There's nothing wrong with looking a little different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, mum. No, yeah, AD, don't. Yeah, no, absolutely. I get that. Absolutely. No, no, no. I, I quite like that it's so up for interpretation as well because I feel like that's sort of what's so special about this game. It kind of reminds me of Silent Hill in that way that there's so many like sort of interpretations that you can take from it. Ugh, another terrible morning. Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school would think. Well, it's not that I care too much. I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up, there's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, mum. They're cursed eyes. They look like giant tongues. I don't believe there's such thing as overthinking though. It's just how you process information. It surely depends from one person to another. And I think that's what's so cool about the game that you've created, NKT. It's like, the, it really, the first game really, really stuck with me after I played it and I just kept thinking about it and I couldn't stop thinking about it, you know? And I was coming up with all these different like things that each thing could represent and I just think you really have created just an amazing piece of art. Guys, as I say, this game is on Steam. Please buy it. It's incredible and there are different endings as well and I am gonna play the other endings but I actually encourage you guys to buy this game and play the endings for yourself and see it because it's just genuinely such a great game. Good with my boy. Yeah, you can't overthink about something that so that that's so open for interpretation. That's true. I love how people can interpret it what they want. It's called art. You guys did great. Absolutely. Each one's getting more disturbing. It really is. I'm excited to keep clicking. Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school will think. Well, it's not that I care too much. I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up. There's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, ma'am. Oh, another terrible morning. Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school will think. Well, it's not that I care too much. I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up. There's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, ma'am. I think that's it. The face is gone. Oh no, the head was gone, I suppose I should say. Good morning, I feel wonderful today. I can't wait for my first day at school. Hey, hurry up. Yes, mum. I wonder what the default ending is. Oh, oh okay, it's an animation. <laughs> Everyone should... Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, she cried. Yeah, she saw the O again. Like after the loop, she woke up from the nightmare and she saw the O. I don't know, maybe. Okay, round of applause, my God, Nikita. Yo. 
you have made two fantastic games there absolutely fantastic guys this game is on steam it is like if you're in the uk it's six pounds guys six pounds i am going to be completing all of the endings um but as i say i i didn't get the default ending apparently guys so apparently there's a default ending so do yourselves a favor yeah can we say thank you so much to the devs my gosh uh it's so pretty it spooked me slightly i know it's it, the atmosphere in these games the ambience ah, absolutely the sound design the the devs yeah we are going this is getting uploaded to youtube absolutely absolutely i'm so happy you enjoyed it i loved it i'm gonna play the death out of this game how many endings are there if you don't mind me asking or is it a secret yes english english uh i saw it i saw it english um translation thank you so much ad for allowing me and my english viewers to enjoy this game thank you so much thank you and there are five endings amazing okay standing ovation absolutely uh wow five endings so if i press continue now does that mean it'll go to the point where i saved it where i can get the different endings because i'm tempted to just sort of like at some point play around and just try and get like all the endings and stuff okay so just don't over say overwrite that save and we can get all the endings okay special thanks someone called frogs i saw frogs again though thank you so much for making this game and thank you so much for the translation and thank you so much for hanging out and just like enjoying the game with us um it's been amazing to have you guys here thank you um i just i love it i don't know what else to say is it time to talk about frogs now <laughs> i like how the system requirements show it It'll literally run on a potato so many games just use general minimum requirement yeah, you can exit the game and your save will be waiting. Okay, so if I quit today, I can come back like tomorrow. Okay, amazing. I just want to see what happens. Okay, lovely. Fab. <gasps> Don't save. <laughs> I just want to look at the, the girl again. So pretty. Yeah, guys, let's get a little bit of love in the chat for the devs because, the, I mean, you can tell this is a work of passion as well. There's so many layers to it. And as someone who someone who openly suffers with mental health issues and talks about it like quite regularly i think in this game you've captured that feeling very love nicely and it's nice to see it represented so nicely and uh like because sometimes mental health can be represented really horrible and i think it's sort of been represented here in a very nice lovely way but I'm glad you- uh, very authentic. Yeah, sorry, I'm not very good with words. <laughs> um, but very authentic, absolutely. The save screen is an O as well. It is, the uh, Um, incredible. Just, well done. Well done. Oh. Uh -oh. Is it moving, or are my eyes playing tricks on me? I think it's moving. That's, I mean, that's even cooler. I'm being sucked in. Um, it's very rare to find mental health represented well in media. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think games like this just do it. Fantastic. It's just your eyes. Oh, I'm being gaslighted. It's moving. It'd be moving. I wonder what happens if you just let it go off the screen. We're going in the O. Oh. No, I'm kidding. It'd be moving. I want to know what happens if it it's like the dvd thing you know when it bounces from the side to side no not gaslighting i'm kidding i've literally been gaslighted i know you're not gaslighting me gone did it come back into the yonder seems like a cool game i wish list it and check one day myself yeah nice rule queue I, 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 I absolutely recommend, um, I mean, it was mere pounds, 
I mean, it's so accessible, like, you did really good. It could have been a, ha a hidden ending. And the Steam Winter Sale is live, guys. Brilliant time to pick it up. My gosh. Spread the word as well. This game's incredible. Um, <laughs> and then lovely music. Lovely calm music. Um, I will be playing the other endings. Um, oh, sadly, I'm not able... No, you shouldn't anyway, dude. Shouldn't. I mean, it was... It wasn't very expensive anyway, so don't. It was, I mean, it's way worth the money. 100% as it is. Best game was 52 year I, I picked up that one now. Can't promise I'll play it soon because it's fin fantasy taking up my time. As long as you've got it, though. Thank you for picking it up. I appreciate that. Um, you can hit me up on, on Discord if you want a Steam key. Oh my gosh. And that's so kind of you. That's so, that's really kind of you. I mean, guys, I would recommend picking it up. Like, but if you absolutely can't but want to experience this game, that's so kind that you give out Steam keys. Wow. It's, I've never really met a dev of a game before, but my gosh, how lovely you have been today. And AD, thank you as well for dropping by and just being lovely, because I needed some lovely tonight. <laughs> Um, I'll put the link as well in the Discord, uh, sorry, I'll put it in the Discord as well, guys, so that you can have it in there as well, but there's the link again to the game. Uh, as I say, there are two games in the series, and as RuleQ said, it's, it's, like, so cheap. It's just come out, man, don't be worried about that. On the entire community over, so genuine and generous, thank you for creating a piece of art. Thank you, absolutely. Uh, NKT, have you got, like, a, tw I followed you on Twitter earlier, um, but... Are you happy to share your Twitter here so like my my viewers can like follow your stuff and and all that? Would that be something that you'd be happy to share or like some sort of if you're not that active on Twitter, you know, some sort of social media? Because it'd be nice to follow you and and just see what you're up to and and get updates and things as they come out. Sure. Okay. I think I have it. Hang on, bear with me. Is it the- I did follow earlier, I'm just scared I followed the wrong- I'm not very good with Twitter. <laughs> uh, following. Oh, it blocked the link. Oh no, it blocked the link. Uh, I think it's this one, right? Yeah, because it says uh, Milk and Cider Bear, uh, also a video game composer. Yes, 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 yes. okay. Sorry, uh, links are blocked. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's also a Discord server you can join. Uh, yes, I would love to. Um, 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 I'm just thinking... It'll block the link, though, for the, t the Discord. Are you able to whisper me uh, the Discord link? I did it right, yeah. NKT underscore KRKV. Yes, I did. That should take you to the Twitter. Guys, if you have Twitter, get on over there. Follow it all. I'm gonna check out your SoundCloud as well because, oh my gosh. And you've done other games too. Okay, I'm gonna check that out as well. I followed very quickly before I made the, I went live, so. But again, thank you so much, Nikita. Thank you. I appreciate that. I will continue to spread the word on how fantastic this game is. Love your face. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I think it's, I've really enjoyed it. And I hope that... Oh, it's in the Discord. Fab, I'm going to join right now. Literally right now. I didn't even notice it. I'm going to join. It was a pleasure. And you whispered me the link. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would definitely join. Thank you so much, AD. And thank you, Kita. Thank you. Um, I will continue to follow you and uh, support everything you do because you guys are obviously passionate and wonderful people. And um, you deserve all the success with this game and your previous game. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yo, do you want to hear about my Salty Nut Tart? Go ahead, Georgia. Is Kitty going night now? No, not yet. I'm going to probably just chat for a bit and just, like, wind down. And listen to you talk about your Salty Nut Tart. Uh, thank you. Uh, that, and actually, that's the last game. Did I hear Mario Kart? I was thinking about doing some Mario Kart, actually. You are right. I was thinking about doing Mario Kart. Uh, potentially, as we chill.
if that's what you want to watch or there's animal crossing um but yeah that is actually the last sort of horror themed game that we're going to be playing this year and what a game to finish it on um so from now until the end of the year we're going to be playing sort of community games and just chilling and uh talking about stuff so thank you so much for watching all my horror games that i've played over the year i really that. um i've had a lot of fun doing it it's been nice to get into horror games again and enjoy new games that i haven't had a chance to play I can't join the Discord, it says unable to accept invite, and I'm not sure if that's something I'm doing. I'm clicking the link. Nikita's star, accept invite. Uh, accept invite, and then it says, whoops, unable to accept invite. I'll, I'll, I'll message you, I'll, I'll whisper you back, and we'll try and get that sorted. Uh, I, sorry, I missed some stuff. There is no basement in Animal Crossing. No basement. Roasted nuts with caramel and rosemary and shortcuts. Great. That sounds really good. Garlic. Sounds weird. Looks amazing. I, I mean, it sounds amazing. Even if it very, very amazing. Right. Let's close this. 